My name is Max Wallace. I'm a Canadian journalist and Holocaust historian and the author of In the Name of Humanity, about a secret deal that ended the Holocaust at the end of the war. I'd always considered myself a journalist rather than an academic. So when I started getting into the area of Holocaust research, I, I felt an obligation to, to do it right. Um, and I, interviewing Holocaust survivors for Steven Spielberg for several years uh, gave me a philosophy that, that it's important to give a voice to the survivors rather than try to speak for them. And that's what I've tried to do in this book. It always strikes me about how many people believe that the U.S. had a shameful record turning away Jews before the Holocaust. And Canada was somehow a little bit nobler. Uh, the fact is that uh, Canada had the worst record of any developed nation. Uh, it was quite shameful. And primarily because of Mackenzie King. Mackenzie King was a racist himself, but I think his, uh, his attitude toward the Jews was more guided towards political expediency. He confided in his diary that, that he feared riots if he let in any significant amount of Jews. Because there, there had been a very large anti-Semitic uh, movement in Quebec especially. Uh, so in many ways, uh, Roosevelt did more for the Jews than, than Mackenzie King. And I think Canadians should be aware of that. I think there are a lot of myths about what the world knew when about the Holocaust. The fact is that the atrocities as of 1942, uh, the, the atrocities in Germany were very well documented. The Western media was well aware of what was happening, but they downplayed it. They, they chose to ignore it or stick it on page 10. And a lot of that, unfortunately, was the, uh, was the New York Times. Today, the New York Times calls their failure to highlight Nazi atrocities during the Holocaust as the century's bitterest journalistic failure. One of my favorite things about promoting this book is whenever I'm out on tour, uh, inevitably a Holocaust survivor comes up to me and thanks me for telling a hopeful story for a change about the Holocaust. Uh, somebody told me that they felt, uh, when they heard this story about Rasha Sternbach and this incredible rescue episode, that they felt like uh, Steven Spielberg must have felt when he heard the story of Oscar Schindler for the first time. The unique thing about this uh, story is that it involves ultra-Orthodox Jews. And, you know, as a secular Jew myself, I grew up with all kinds of urban legends and stereotypes. Uh, about the ultra-Orthodox. And I think those stereotypes uh, have a lot to do with why this story has never been told. I'm hoping that as a result of my book that some of the central figures, the Gentiles who, who allied with the ultra-Orthodox uh, rescue committee, will be recognized as righteous Gentiles among nations at Yad Vashem so that their stories could be told because it's very inspirational.